Etsy. RH is the world's second biggest maker of building materials, and it just reported that profit jumped to 76 million euros in the first half, while sales came in at 8 billion euros, both beating analyst estimates. Chief Executive Miles Lee heads the company, which has a market cap of just over 8.5 billion euros. Well, based in Ireland, it operates in 35 countries and employs 75,000 people. Let's cross over to Miles Lee. He's in Dublin now for the company's latest outlook. Uh, so, Miles, you managed to uh, beat estimates here with this set of results. Uh, what are you predicting going forward? Uh, good morning, Anna. Yes, uh, we've come in and had an improved first half of the year, which I think was based on the balanced portfolio that we have across our materials, our products and our distribution businesses, and also with significant benefits from the restructuring measures we've taken over the last three to four years. I think those uh, characteristics are going to stand to us again in the second half of the year, even though the outlook is probably a bit tougher with somewhat slowdown in uh, economic growth rates and also given the volatility that we've seen in financial markets over the last few weeks. Well, this is it. We are going to see a, a slowdown globally, uh, even in China, if you have a look at what the conference board has been saying today. So you're planning to do some more cost cutting, 136 million euros in cost savings uh, for 2011 overall. Where are you going to cut those costs specifically? Well, I mean, those cost savings and we expect to achieve this year are just part of a program which over the last four years has seen us reduce our cost base by about 2 billion, billion euro in total. Uh, we're working forward and have had good realisation on those cost cuts in the first half of the year. But at the moment, uh, we're continuing with those programmes. But at the moment, we're focused on delivering and meeting the demands at what are the peak months of the season. Where is your growth coming from? Which parts of the world? Well, in Europe, uh, obviously, we have some tough economies on the western periphery of Europe. But we're seeing good progress in Finland and in Switzerland, where we have significant market positions. Our businesses in Germany have done well in the first half of the year. Uh, in Poland, uh, we're doing well in the heavy end of our business because there's a lot of infrastructure growth in Poland. And generally, I suppose our businesses on the lighter side, uh, which are focused more on repair, maintenance and improvement, have done better in the first half of the year than our activities, which would have a more new build focus. And we expect that that pattern will continue in the second half of the year. Now, if we have a look at the U.S., you told us back in March that you thought the U.S. construction market was bottoming out. Uh, has it now bottomed or is there still further to fall? Well, I think it differs a bit by sector. And uh, I mean, on the residential side, I think we are still bouncing along the bottom in terms of new residential construction. I think the commercial end, uh, we believe, and um, we said back in March, would see further declines this year, but at a slower pace than what we saw in 2010, and that's proving to be the case. And on the infrastructure side, we've actually had a good outturn in the first half of the year. We've seen some volume growth across our activities, which are very widespread. We're, we operate in 44 states on the infrastructure side of our business. And we think we'll see some continuing volume progress in our market areas in the second half of the year. But overall, uh, U.S. construction continues to be at a very low ebb. Um, and the latest uh, forecast from the PCA, which are probably one of the most uh, prominent of forecasters in U.S. construction, have again toned down the expected growth rate for 2011 and as we look forward also into 2012. So it continues to be challenging in the U.S. Okay. We're going to have to leave it there. Miles Lee, the CEO of CRH there. Thanks very much. You're